This is our banal today, and I'm going to do something a little different. First, I'll introduce you to Dr. Craig Eagle, Chief Medical Officer of Garden Health, maker of SHIELD blood-based colorectal cancer test. A little after that, we'll talk with Dennis, a patient who avoided recommended colorectal cancer screening until he learned about the SHIELD blood-based test. Thanks for speaking with me today, Dr. Eagle. You're welcome. Pleasure to be here. I appreciate having you here. All right, let's get started. Please tell us about your background and your work with Garden Health. Yeah, so my name is Craig Eagle, as you mentioned, and I'm the Chief Medical Officer at Garden Health. Uh, in that role, I oversee and participate in all Garden's Health work across our various products. We cover two main areas focused on the whole cancer journey for patients, from uh, cancer diagnosis, treatment selection, to monitoring their cancer treatment and responses, and then ultimately also in the early detection of cancer or screening for cancer. And this is all through a platform of a liquid biopsy, uh, as we call it. Think of a liquid biopsy like a blood test, no different to any other blood test. You take a tube of blood and from that we try uh, and glean as much information about your cancer, the state of the cancer and how it's responding to therapy or screen your body looking for uh, different types of cancer. And in particular at the moment, we're focused on colorectal cancer. Can you describe the scientific breakthroughs that led to the development of the SHIELD colorectal cancer blood test? Sure. So everyone's familiar with the Human Genome Project. This was a project many years ago to look for the DNA sequence of the human uh, genes. And so from that came understanding, a deeper understanding of all diseases, including colorectal cancer. And ultimately, the other breakthrough came about as you start to understand the DNA it would, became evident that DNA circulates in the bloodstream. So as cells grow and turn over the natural part of our body, that DNA is released in the bloodstream. So the ability to not just detect the genes, identify the genes that are associated with cancer, but to pick it out of the bloodstream with all the other molecules became one of the key founding breakthroughs. And that led then to assessing in the areas of screening where cancer can be very early, using the power of DNA and genes and, and detection uh, through next generation sequencing, as it's called, uh, could help identify people who have cancer in their body. How is this different from CA125, which is a cancer uh, blood test that's that's done? How, how does it differ? That's a great question. CA125 is a, a protein, so a it's a blood test as well, so both are blood tests. Uh, and think of it like that some cancer cells will make proteins that aren't normally in our blood. That's far less common than uh, looking for the mutation that goes with cancer. And so the DNA, this uh, particular test shield or for colorectal cancer is looking at the genes and the DNA. And no cancer can start without having some abnormality in the DNA. And so we're picking up the root cause, the very beginning changes that occur in our body, whereas CA125 is often more towards the end of the process where those genes start to make the cell do things that are uh, normal, and that's producing proteins like CA125. Mm. What are the primary benefits of the SHIELD uh, CRC test for patients, and how does it improve on traditional colorectal cancer screening methods like colonoscopies? So one of the things that's important to recognize is there are different ways to screen for colorectal cancer. And, you know, colorectal cancer, as we know, sadly, is the second leading cause of cancer mortality. And so there are different ways to screen. One is through tests like colonoscopy you mentioned. Another is to take samples of the stool or the feces to actually uh, analyze uh, markers in that. And so as you can imagine, between having a colonoscopy where someone looks up your uh, colon, uh, versus uh, having your stool and taking samples. These things are often not ideal for some people. Many people don't like to do them. They find them inconvenient and uh, not ideal. And so that's where a convenient blood test acts as a different choice and different alternative in that uh, ability. And so what we've done is we've looked at people and said, okay, given the choices between the current ones, uh, there are many people actually choose to do nothing, sadly. And so screening for colorectal cancer a uh, highly treatable disease if it's called early, and uh, this blood test is a different platform, if you like, to look for cancer. What do you see as key advantages of blood-based tests over traditional screening methods, particularly for Black men who might be hesitant about screening? 
So one of the advantages of a blood test is we have it today with a lot of diseases. You know, we go see the doctor, they often order a blood test. Um, whereas if you think about other options in screening, you know, you've got to do a special test or procedure. So colonoscopy is unique for colon cancer. The stool test, unique for colon cancer. So the beauty about having a blood test is it fits in with any other care paradigm you may have. And so when you start to think about, you know, black men and just generally uh, people that are often very busy, working hard, can get little time off work, and you can fit in a screening test into a routine health visit or into a call to a physician or doctor for some other reason and get it done at the same time, that's convenience. And I think there's a huge advantage uh, for everybody, but particularly for people that are often working hard, very busy, uh, and and find it uh, difficult to get the time off for other procedures. So I'm curious then, does the GARDEN test do more than just screen for colorectal cancer? So the GARDEN test is focused on colorectal cancer. That's what it screens for. Mm -hmm. The part that's unique is the procedures you have to go through to get the sample. So, you know, to have a needle uh, to take a blood sample, you can take other tests at the same time that your doctor may order routinely for part of your health care. And then you can have the uh, blood taken for SHIELD, for colorectal cancer screening. And so the uniqueness is about how you collect the samples to be tested. Uh, you have a stool collection. The stool collection is purely for cancer screening. A blood test could be taken for SHIELD and you could add on other tests in that same collection episode. And so that's what makes it convenient for people. You're going to the doctor to get a cholesterol test to see what your cholesterol is doing. And at the same time, the doctor could order a, a colorectal cancer test like SHIELD at the same time. And it's still the same one uh, needle uh, blood collection. Given the higher incidence of mortality rates of colorectal cancer in Black Americans, how do you think innovative screening methods like SHIELD can help address these disparities? So again, I think it's all about uh, creating equity and access and also addressing preferences. And what we know, we've done, uh, commissioned uh, Harris to do a poll for us, and they polled uh, some Americans, including Black Americans. And what they found is that the convenience is often the biggest barrier, uh, more so in Black people than in the whites. So 84% of Black respondents said that uh, convenience was an issue for them with current testing. And so we believe this is where SHIELD as a blood test, as I mentioned, fitting in with the routine care helps to solve that convenience issue. And so therefore now, if you make it more convenient, that's where I believe it creates an equal disparity. That's the first point. The second point is if you think about the location of testing. So for colonoscopy in particular, you have to go to a colonoscopy unit or clinic. Uh, and so the limits in geographical location, time visits, and then the prep that goes with that, which is often one to two days of prep to help clear out the bowel, right. becomes also a limit as well. So you walk into any place that can take uh, blood, uh, a phlebotomist, anywhere in the country, used regularly, easy access again, another removal of the barrier of that inconvenience and access challenge. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, CMS, covers blood tests with a sensitivity of at least 74% for the detection of CRC and a specificity of at least 90%. How does SHIELD measure up against these criteria? And will it be covered by Medicaid or Medicare? Yep. So SHIELD certainly passes these criteria. We have a sensitivity of 83%. Uh, and with a specificity of uh, 90%. So we pass the criteria you mentioned for CMS. Uh, at the moment, we're working with the FDA to get this test approved through the FDA, and we really look forward to moving uh, towards the, hopefully the end of this year to work with uh, CMS and get it approved through Medicare and Medicaid as well. So we're very excited with the future and the opportunity to bring a, another option to screening, to your point, so people can get access and they can get the screening done. Have you faced any challenges in bringing SHIELD, the SHIELD test to market? Um, have you encountered any skepticism from both the medical community and potential users? So probably it harks back to the original uh, approach that taking DNA from the blood to look at your cancer also was initially skeptical and hard to believe. People felt you had to go and look for the cancer. So there was a lot of skepticism about can you detect things from the bloodstream uh, of such an early stage like colorectal cancer? 
And so that's where it's been important for us to produce the evidence, the scientific evidence, which was recently published in New England Journal of Medicine, to demonstrate to people that we can pick up the right signals, the right DNA uh, and components in the bloodstream with a blood test that screens for colorectal cancer. And then it's this information that we're also taking to the FDA uh, and we're working with the FDA to assess and, uh, on that. But yes, probably the biggest skeptical part is, can you detect the cancer from the blood? And so there's been no pushback from the GI community or is that the pushback from the GI community? So I wouldn't call it pushback. What I would call it is very rigorous scientific debate, which only makes it stronger for healthcare to improve. So as you bring in new ways of looking for a cancer like colorectal cancer, the gastroenterologists who are experts in this field, other experts in public health, FDA I mentioned, they all debate and look at the rigors of the device. And so far that's been very much uh, the approach. And so far it continues to show that this test has uh, benefit to really change the landscape of colorectal cancer screening. So there has been good, healthy, scientific discussions and debates, and we're moving forward with those uh, in a very positive way, in my view. What advice would you give to healthcare providers to encourage them to adopt blood-based testing more broadly in their practice? Well, I think probably the most important thing is for uh, physicians to keep uh, pursuing that screening opportunity with their patients, uh, because screening is absolutely the key to trying to prevent colorectal cancer, particularly when there's 50 million Americans that today are not screened or up to date with screening. And in terms of the blood test, I think it's important that the physicians understand this isn't an option that's available. That's an option that they can offer patients. And it's an option for, particularly for patients who do not uh, prefer or wish to have a colonoscopy. And so I would encourage physicians to have this as an option in the discussions when they talk about colorectal cancer screening. Thanks again for your time, Dr. Eagle. I really appreciate this.